map of Africa. Lots of pilots in the air, but it's a lovely day for flying. You got to keep your head on a bit of a swivel. I'm going to go far behind this guy before he turns. And we're going to see a nice view out to the ocean. Woo! It's definitely a day for being alive. Oh, hello, a bump there. Oh, God. I've got some buddies up in the sky. How's it? And my good friend Eric, a German guy who I've been having many drinks with in the evenings and afternoons. He's over there in his orange and black glider. Love that look. We've got a lot of students in the sky, which makes this a little bit. Uh, what's the word on the. Ooh, hello, there's a lift. Makes this a little bit um, congested. You don't always know what a student pilot is going to do. But as long as everyone kind of obeys the traffic laws, it should be okay. So we're just going to work this little section of ridge and fall into the traffic pattern with everybody else. Keep looking out for people because the last thing we need today is a mid air collision. But there is lift abundantly. So we're going to. Eric! We're right above the N2, so this is the main road that runs from Durban to Cape Town along the coast. And this is probably the most scenic part of the whole N2. So if you're looking for a nice drive, I would highly recommend this little section of the road. We can actually, we might, if we go down, we might be flying at the same level as some of the cars. I was doing that a little bit earlier, and it's amazing to see people's faces. They look out the window, and there's this guy just hanging in the sky at the same height as them, which is quite cool. Okay, so now we've got this little section to our soul, which is good, and we have to turn in the lift, or else we are definitely going to be landing at the bottom. So here's the lift. Oh, couldn't have time that better if I tried. There we go. And there's a little section of lift just up ahead. And if we time it right, we'll turn in that as well. And then we will be the highest paraglider in the sky. So let's see if we can get it. It should be about it now. It starts. Uh, yeah, here we good. We are still going up. Okay. okay, you can see ahead of me, Jeepers, there's a lot of traffic there. So we're just going to come on the brakes a little bit and slow down. Because we don't want to turn into that mess. Everybody else is turning. Okay, and the lift should start about now, so we're going to get on that turn. It's hard. Looks like a student ahead of us. So let's get ourselves out of here. Before we bump someone in. We'll find ourselves stuck in the lift. Unfortunately, I'm flying on the lift. And they are flying on the ridge. On the ridge. So yeah, I'm going to unclimb them quickly. There we go, some more lift. And again, we're going to find something here. We're going to turn. The lift a little bit of a little bit of a bump coming off that ridge there. So a slow turn. And my friend Eric is starting to there we go, he's climbing now, you can see he's finding the lift, he's turning in the lift, which is good. This guy ahead of me is also flying very well, so Using him as a bit of a, a wind dummy. See? Hello. Getting a little bumpy in this, uh, in this glider. But it's all good. I think we should go on today. 
I've seen somebody land in a tree already. Jack, student pilot girl. She's flying on the radio. Her instructor's saying, turn right. Everyone on the ground is yelling, turn right. And she just kept flying straight and went straight into the bushes. Fortunately, it's very soft here. This is a faint horse. So, no like hard branches or that. So, I'm sure she'll be okay. But, uh, not a position you want to find yourself in, especially when you're learning, because then you have a little bit of the fear factor. Which doesn't help. We have a sport. Oh, hello. There's, there's some. Oh, we're going up now. We're going up and we're getting bumped around a bit. And they come back and look for that. So, make a little mention note as to exactly where that bump was. So we're going to get into the traffic pattern again. The problem with this corner is that everyone's turning at slightly the wrong time. We're all turning a little bit late and it forces me to turn late because if I turn early, I turn across them, which will create a problem. So I have to wait for them to turn and then, then I have to make it. And I lose a little bit of altitude with the time that happens. But if I can get myself But I'm getting bounced around Okay, it's getting too busy here for me, hey? Eh? We're gonna fly out a bit. You know, look, there was a little thermal I climbed up earlier, which was out in front. I'm gonna look for that instead of buggering around. Someone's got the ears on, they're not quite in the wrong. We're in a rush to land. Put a stir in the rubbish ground out here. So I looked away from the traffic over there, so I'm going to try and find that again. But it is a beautiful day, the ocean is looking spectacular. There was a huge storm here yesterday morning, and the uh, lagoon you can see there is open now to the sea. It was closed, and the storm went through, and just flipping opened the whole thing up. So. That was pretty crazy. It was flooding, it was pretty mental. Um, I wouldn't want to experience that again. But yes, what's very cool here is that you can fly directly above the road here. And it's a it's a nice it's, it's a, like a unique thing. You can you can even fly parallel with the road and you feel like you're one of the cars for a moment, which is quite cool. Um, so, is a little bit too busy for my liking, but we're not losing altitude here. I'm staying at the same height as everyone. Down there is one of the best places in the whole world. It's a backpacker, it's called the Beach House. It's um, yeah, what a vibe. Live music, pool, just a fantastic place. It's just one of the most amazing backpackers you'll ever find. It's exactly what a backpacker should be. It's just a place where people can come, chill, and also be accepted which is a big part of the traveling community, is feeling like you're amongst people who want to be around you. Um, so that's a spectacular thing. It's been too much to go. Everyone else is too. So if I get the drive, I should get this piece of bridge to myself. Here. Ah, you lost that. This is your hand. It's a very good time to find it. It's got exactly the same as yours. Just to try and get this little clip to himself. I can't say I'm going to go behind him. Just so he's got the room to make a tight turn. There we go. We're going to follow suit. But we do not have the altitude that we for that. That's okay. Around slowly. So he's in a tandem which flies a hell of a lot faster than a single glider. So he's busy. Ooh, there we go. Hello. He's going to overtake me just now and it's going to cause all sorts of complications. Which is working for the compensation. Try to get up. 
had a lovely low save earlier today. I was the same height as the road. My eyes were looking the car, the drivers in the eyes. And I managed to get myself back up to the top to land, which was um, because I felt for sure that I was going to have to go land at the bottom and find a ride back up. But it came through for me. I managed to go land on top again, which is what you want. Ooh, thread the needle here a little bit. Ooh. I don't know if this is flying. I'm not sure if it's a student. They're flying very well. I don't know what wing is in there. Oh god. Well it's 12 o'clock on a Tuesday. Flying. Enjoying myself. I can't make up more words because I'm concentrating. Something, something, something. The world. I don't know. We're just doing our best here.